Good morning, everybody. I have all the lights on because I just got done putting the uh, Zag screen protector on. Um, where is the outer box? In ones, it's the Defender Glass um, Zag. Um, there is a more expensive one coming out. I don't know. It's, I think, the NXT or something like that. Or the NTX, something like that from Zag. I didn't, I, it's not available, so... I don't know what the difference is. Uh, this one here, I think, does blue light and stuff. It's supposed to help with that. So, I don't really... And this is the one I always put on. Honestly, it's like the $44 one. I never go low end on these. Um, especially considering once I pay for them, Best Buy replaces them if I shatter them. Which, if anybody remembers the iPhone 12, I did like two in a matter of a couple weeks. So, yeah, it's got the eye safe. These stickers are on here pretty good. So, that's already on. Um, I always go with the Zags. Just, they're easy to install. And, I mean, honestly, I've trusted them for years now. And the, the big boy is the UAG Monarch Pro uh, with Kevlar. Kevlar. And it now has MagSafe. Like I was saying last, yesterday, I believe. It's not round. They did like this hectagon shape. <laughs> so, kind of looks neat. And I'm kind of curious. I didn't get it on yesterday. I was really, really lacking. I also got a new adapter for the car that charges. Bracketron. Um, it's auto-closing like the iAudis. Except these guys have gotten smart. And they're using USB-C to charge. So it gets the faster charging. iAudi is still using micro USB to the device to this so keep that in mind in fact the best buy associate didn't even know that i said on my said is there a magsafe that's not using there was a um scouch scotch um magsafe one because i just want one to hold the like the other phone and let it charge um so a magsafe one would have been fine because it's not going to be a recording device doesn't need to spin around but this one says it auto closes, so we'll see. We're gonna test it out today. And uh, but the, it uses a proprietary cord, so if that cord gets damaged or you lose it, you, you're you're screwed. And I don't know how fast that one was, but this is USB C, so I'll be able to plug it. Just used an Apple cable into this, and um, I have really long ones, and be able to put it over on the driver's side so I can put my maps and stuff over there. It should charge the iPhone as fast as it can. All right, so there we are out of the box. I think the only part that's Kevlar on this thing, this is an $80, a $90 case. I think this is the only part that's Kevlar. The rest of it's just plastic. Uh, nice design on the inside. Nice and padded, kind of, it's kind of rigid. I like these cases, I have the crystal and like i've mentioned yesterday you know i like these cases but the fact that they weren't magsafe even though they said magsafe would work with them i had a very hard time making that ever work so let's uh, find out what happens with this guy mind my mess all right so i got my charging system set up here and drop you on boom all right it goes on there pretty good yeah, the magnet's pretty strong. We'll see how it works with the um, shift cam as well. This guy here, what I'm always talking about. And also, when the uh, snap grip comes, that's another reason. Can't use it with the... Um, I don't even know where the hell that case went to. Um, so this is also... This is the old style of the Monarch, I believe. Um, I think that's a... That might... I think that's the Monarch uh, Crystal. Yeah, that is. Well, I could be wrong on that. I don't know. Anyway, this is not MagSafe, and I don't think you could even make it MagSafe because the inside is not smooth, and the outside's not smooth. So that's what one thing they did different. You saw the inside of it. They made it nice and smooth, so it goes on. And, uh, yeah. Yay, you can charge now. I'm not sure what my indicator is saying up there. Locked. But it is charging. Okay. Alright, reset the internet, so now it's working. So this is actually powered. 
I don't know how I'm gonna do this and catch the device if it falls out, but and how you how you reach them with the phone in there. So you got individual you got two little buttons on the sides here. That I don't know if you have to hit one. No, oh, okay, you only have to oh, okay. So whichever one you can reach. Hit a button and it's power driven. That's kinda cool. Ish, I think. I don't know. Getting in the car, drop it in, and then just secure it. And it does hold it. It doesn't squeeze it very hard, but yeah, it's in there. All right, I give that guy a try. Um, it doesn't seem to be charging my device though. Mm, I might have gotten the wrong thing. This is supposed to charge, right? Might have to drop the bottom down. Yeah, QI charging, 15 volt QI. All right, might have to might have to lower the, the bottom here so that the lines up with the iPhone. All right, let's drop it in there now and see. Yeah, oh, it does auto do it. There it goes. It does auto do it now that it's lined up right. Once it feels like it charges, it locks it in. Cool. It was mild. Okay, so you take it out, but when you slide it back in, hear it, starts charging. As soon as it starts charging the phone, it knows. There's really no lock button down here. This just kind of pulls down just a little bit long. Fair warning, things like chemicals and CO. Cool, they clean the CO. So here's all the accessories included with it, uh, with the Bracketron. Um, you, get, you do get a charging uh, car charger which is USB to USB-C. And then you get a vent mount, and then you get a windshield dash mount suction cup. So you got options with this guy. I mean, I think it was like $64, $65 with, you know, $64.98, 99 something like that. Um, but yeah, that's it's automated. So that's, it's kind of cool. Um, uh, and it, yeah, it does lock itself in when you, now, granted, if you put it in when the car's not started, it's not going to do that. <laughs> I normally put that in before I start the car, so... Uh, hmm. That's something to think about. So, if you just drop it in your... You drop your phone in it, it's not going to have any power to even run it. It has to have power to, to do that, because it's motorized. And it will... I mean, it'll fit some pretty small... It'll probably fit an iPhone Mini. Uh, nice little, nice little rubber inserts there to uh, keep the the phone secure. This is actually these are this is metal. This is metal down here. I think the whole thing might be. Yeah, like eh, it feels cold to the touch. The arms are definitely metal. They're not plastic. They're not flimsy. They're not bendable like some of these other ones. So I give the build quality uh, a ten so far. I'm not gonna throw the box and stuff away. I might actually install this one here too, just to have, you know, maybe another one of my old Iotis just kind of in place in case I need it, just to drop my phone in, just for fun. But see if it works in my car. My car's got really weird vents, They're like sideways. So I don't know how that's gonna work. And actually, this might be not only a vent mount, I guess that's padded to keep it. There's like actually padding on the back of this as well. You know, and there's a little flip lever here for locking and unlocking for the vents. And that's pretty thought thought out. I'm not gonna lie. That's and it's it's pretty well built. Now this this and the suction cup are plastic, but they're not cheap chintzy plastic. That is solid. I've tested some things that have been a lot crappier. Yes, Priya, do you wanna go outside and go potties? That's right. Do you want to go sango parties? So a cutie, you feeling okay today? You can eat breakfast? Oh, tail's wagon. <laughs> Let's go check on brother, who is in bed. Because he's, you know, turd. Shed some light on you, dude. I'll tell you what, 2X line seems to hold up pretty decent. Since it's still running off that big sensor. All right.
everybody it is a foggy morning again this is going to be the common theme as the temperatures drop overnight and we uh, have warmer days ground temperatures warm air temperatures cool boom fog okay got puppy one puppy two and we are on a walk take a full lap around everybody get their exercise so right now with the monarch in the shift cam um not having any problems with it right now because it is without microphones and whatnot. So far, none of this has run on the road. This has all been the iPhone audio. What do you guys think? Let me know. So yesterday, my brain was thinking, what will Apple do next, camera-wise? What can they do? I mean, is there a bigger sensor they can go with? Probably. Maybe. Who knows? Um, of course, you know, Sony did release a one-inch. That would make you a whole new camera thing for, for the iPhone. Especially if they actually use the whole one inch. Especially with going 48 megapixels. Hmm. Okay, so you have the 2x zoom now on the main lens. So the other thing that went through my brain is now Apple can focus away from a measly 3x zoom and the zoom lens could go to a periscope, what, 5, 10x out to, what, 50, 20, 100, I don't think they'll ever try to compete with Samsung at the 100 because Samsung does a lot of really interesting processing with moon photos to make them look passable on I, on, on mobile devices. On the computer, eh, not so much. But if you want a moonshot with some detail, the S22 Ultra and the S21 Ultra, both of them, I would say, they're passable on mobile devices. You at least get the shot. It's not going to be my Sony RX10. But tell me in the comments if you think I'm right. If now that they've got a 2x zoom on the main lens, if you think now they're going to focus on the zooming feature in 15. Obviously, the other thing is with the UA or the EU forcing a you know single type of charging, USB-C will finally come. Hopefully, Apple does it right with ProRes and does Thunderbolt so that you can transfer your damn footage faster. The front camera, a little run here, you know. And everybody keeps complaining about Apple doesn't redesign. Time out. <laughs> okay, so you had similar design form factor. iPhone, iPhone 3G, iPhone 3GS. They were similar form factor. Then you had the 4, the 4S, the 5, the 5S. Similar form factor. So that was 4. Now you go into when they went with the curved edges, the 6, the 6S. The 7, the 7S, the 8, the 10, the 11. Yeah, so don't expect a redesign on the body of an iPhone, I think, for a few more generations, if ever. What are they going to do to it? I wish the design from the iPhone 4 with the round buttons would have come back. Personally, I think that would look retro and really cool. They might be saving that design. I would like to see that design again, but it's not, it's, I mean... It works. It works the way it is. And sadly, you know, you say, oh, well, they're not redesigning, so you can use the same case over and over again. Eh, wrong answer. They're not changing the body. The cases, yes, theoretically fit the body, but they don't fit the camera module. So you still are forced into buying a new case every year, which sucks. And those of you concerned about the dynamic island, I'm not really... The notch honestly never really bothered me. I think the fact that they've now extended the display to run a small sliver behind the dynamic island is more of an eyesore. The, the, the island itself works nice. It's a really cool feature. I personally don't know that I'll ever use it the way all these other YouTubers have. You know, you're running a timer, you're running music. I, just, I, I don't play music unless I'm in the car. Um, I honestly don't. I, I just, I, I'm, I'm at work, and when I'm home, I, I'm busy. I'm doing things. When I walk the dogs, I don't listen to music, because I want to know what's going on around us. It's just one of these things that really drives me nuts when I see people riding a bike with headphones. I've seen people driving cars with headphones, which, by the way, is illegal as hell. You are not allowed to drive with headphones in. Some people are stupid. I am technically riding a bike. 
you can't hear traffic coming because you're listening to music. <clears throat> now, granted, these noise can if you're using top notch ones that have noise cancellation that you can turn off and you can hear your surrounding areas, you know, great. Because I know I was talking to my mom, I had my earbuds in one day, AirPods in one day, and I had noise cancellation off, transparent. And I was hearing sirens from like another town. It was crazy because it actually amplified emergency services. I don't, I don't know if it actually did, but that sound came through and I was like freaking out thinking they were right next to me. And it was picking that up, letting me know that there was an emergency nearby. So but still, you're not allowed to drive with them in your ears. That is illegal. <laughs> wow, even with the foggy morning, trying to take a photo when I got up a little too high when I lost the building there, it actually switched over to macro mode and kind of lost focus for a second there. I hope that's not be a continuous issue because it really messes things up. Halfway around. Exercise for the cul de sac. Yay! One exercise done. One thing done. These poor birch trees are looking pretty sad already. I actually saw some other trees dropping leaves yesterday. This fog, wow, it's pretty thick. It is pretty thick out there. Gotta see that it keeps focus. It, it lost it. Yeah, when you get into that, it's just, eh, nope, can't focus. There's nothing there to focus on. Pick up the car, there you go. It's, uh, it, it takes a little bit. I'm gonna use the front facing camera a little bit more today. Try it out. I'm, I'm focusing on the camera lens. I'm being sure not to look at the screen. <laughs> I used to always do it's why I quit using it that and the resolution wasn't as good but they said they gave this thing a major bump so let's play with it so um sorry I forgot what I was gonna say um like I told Tim yesterday you know I'm shooting a lot of video a lot of photos uh, yesterday I think it was like 46 videos I shot it takes the iPhone especially when you don't bring them in like copy them over from another iPhone it takes him a couple days, literally a couple days of filming and shooting photos for it the the engine to learn. And it'll it gets better as time goes. Low light will get better, you know, photo qualities will get better because it gets an idea of what you're doing. And uh, being brand new out of the box just what a day and a half ago, not even yeah, about a day and a half ago. Yeah, you know, it's still learning. So it's all right. I'm not worried about it quite yet. If some of these problems I'm seeing with focus continue, I will start to get concerned. Oh yeah, the front facing camera now is supposed to have autofocus, which like everybody in the world said, never knew it didn't have it. Right, just for instance, let's see what happens with the iPhone 13. House, granted I'm a little closer, but I can't really tell that it's losing focus. It's not. The iPhone 13 Pro Max is not losing focus in... Now, I've seen it lose focus when I've had filters on it. But you can tell it's not losing focus. Let's try the other one from right here as well. Well, hell, it's already lost focus on the house. There you go. You can see it lost focus. Definitely lost focus. 13 did not do that. Oh, Apple, I think you have an issue. But if you go up into the... Yeah. It's definitely not knowing what to do. That's, hmm. Any ideas, anybody? Please leave a comment. All right, so like I was saying yesterday, the other sound bar came back to right about where the end of this little rack is for the projector. So I had to move significantly over. Right there is the mount point. And I did that by hand. I said yesterday I struggled doing it with the drill driver. I did it by hand with the uh, center drive and I got it in. Um, now, as for needing mounting hardware for these guys, it wasn't required. It just needed a screw and I already had the holes from the previous time I had surround speakers. Granted, my system is backwards unless I want to run a 20, like 30 foot uh, HDMI cord, which I forget how long that one is, but I don't think it's long enough if I ever wanted to move the sound bar to here and then put the satellite now i have the the only problem i have right now is that's the controller for these speakers <coughs> and that outlet 
which I actually have an extension cord at, so it wasn't plugged in because this is actually part of the screen right here. It actually hits that, that outlet. Um, it's powered by the switch. So right now, that is actually powered off. Unless I have that light on, and then I have a switch in the back behind the door there. I can turn the light off. I got it all set up and working. The last night during the race, actually, after the first 45 minutes, I don't think it was even an hour, it finally quit cutting out. I checked for firmware updates multiple times. My bigger struggle was actually getting the subwoofer and that connected. Like I said, I had to re-register the device to me. But then I had to hit the reset ID, and thank goodness that... We have other Samsung sound bars because I have a remote because that's what one of the things that was missing. But I got it all synced up and working fully. So um, now when I was playing music, you can hear these really well. I couldn't really tell much on TV, which kind of has me concerned going through the Apple TV that I'm not getting five in one sound. I don't know. But the audio quality, way better because I have it on voice ad advance. So even with the air conditioner running, I could hear clearly especially if i sit in this side of the chair but like i said i moved it over for this opening door because i close that one a lot of times uh for the light so but there it is it's in place and this subwoofer is mammoth this thing ooh, if you could see it in the car yesterday but that thing is huge so but it's up and run all right so i just downloaded the kickstarter app because I, it's the only way i can keep track of my uh, snap grip so apparently if you ordered the midnight which is what i ordered um they are start, supposed to start shipping tomorrow you're supposed to start receiving them between tomorrow and the 30th i'm hoping that we get it before we go away um also i'm 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 almost thinking verizon's going to start shipping out the ultra watches and i might see it friday which would be beautiful i mean even next monday or tuesday would be fine i'm hopeful I really kind of want to get that and get it set up and get that reviewed. But um, shift cam with the snap grip, they are actually going to, they're requesting open box videos to be sent to them. Um, so definitely want to get on board with that because the number one video wins an iPhone 14. I don't know what model they win, but probably the lowest end. <laughs> so, and honestly, if I didn't have the Pro Max with this particular unit right now, my lenses would be blocked because this thing is just barely sticking out without the microphones on there and the plug sticking in the back it's taken you know that much deeper into the, the device because right now i couldn't actually put a filter on this system which is kind of crazy it wouldn't fit okay i don't know what else i'm gonna do i think i should import and get today's ready to go since i gotta go to work here in a couple hours because it's already 20 after eight 24 after eight the day is getting way fast all right, well, we had to switch over to the 13 because the 14 is still importing. It's not even 50%. I'm going to say it's probably like 40% imported. <laughs> Oops, I think I might have filmed too much. And uh, since I never really used a front facing camera on the 13 Pro, I figured, what the hell? We'll give it a shot, see what the difference is, see if you can tell. Obviously, you know when the front camera is activated because there is no background blur. The sun is starting to peek through. I don't know why I didn't do this more though. But it's crazy with the light, it's actually hitting all the sensors in the notch on this one. You never noticed, of course, I never filmed with it, that's why. Just the way the light's hitting it though. You can kind of see it on the 14, like some of the other YouTubers have said, in certain lighting, you can see how it's set up in there. You guys are being mm, something. Come on, I want to see if there's a little bit of a sound difference too. So, but uh, yeah, it's still pretty foggy that way. Sun's trying to come through over here. So, that's uh, not too bad. It's starting to humid out though. On what temperature's supposed to go up to today? Probably at work anyway, doesn't matter. All right, just got done going through a whole bunch of stuff. Threw away some device boxes I no longer have. I still have the S22 Ultra Box. Kind of kicked myself a little bit on that one. Trading in the 512 on the Flip 3, but, because now the Flip 4 is just parked. It's not even turned on. It's fully charged, and it's got the, I had to actually, turn off auto auto pay and not even activate that card again i'm done with that that card my prepaid line get rid of it and uh but yeah got all the gopro stuff put away because you know, i hardly pull that out but i left it over in my room so i'm gonna i think i'm gonna actually make up 
that tote for the car. So I have a little bit of everything I'd ever need if I end up somewhere that I don't expect going. But at least I have things with me. My backup microphones, you know, some tripods, stuff like that, that I could, you know, film something if, you know, an special thing showed up. You never know. I mean, you just don't know. sweet home I did time lapses in both time lapse mode and in um, ProRes HDR try to get an idea see how which one looked better time lapse the sky was completely black HDR could kind of see the clouds like my eyes could see normally the phones pick up even better so when I play it back we'll see how it looks but home uh, basically uh, just kind of chill out have a cup of coffee and call it a night. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the morning and have a good night. So the small rig does fit. We'll test it out here. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, real quick. I'll try lens. I'm able to, yeah, it's getting around it. All the lenses, I don't see any of the case showing on the sides, even though it's not lined up 100%. So, yeah. That's a good thing, I guess. I don't have to buy a new one. Well, it's definitely not something I would normally do again, because this whole side is blurred. And I don't understand why that is, but that is with that 18 millimeter Yolanzi lens and the Moondog Lab um, adapter. Um, I actually was looking at it and didn't think it was going to let me put it on. I'm trying to go the wrong way, I think, here. Hold on a second. Oh, shit, I pulled the whole thing off. Oh man, that is getting really, really bent. I'm not real happy with Moondog Labs on this one. They did not make a very strong design there. Yeah, it's just twisted to hell. But it does go on. I'm gonna try to macro it itself. I didn't think there was enough space in there with the, the lenses. But you can actually get away with this because Small Rig doesn't have anything listed for the iPhone 14 yet. Okay, so yeah, I mean, if you're doing filters or if you're doing a different type of lens than that, let's try the moments quick. Don't mind the dirty quality, but yes, you can get the lenses in there. I really hope I didn't scratch my, I think there's enough gap. I mean, it didn't, seemed like there wasn't, but anywho, so yeah, you can, you can definitely get these lenses on there. They're, uh, I struggle with stabilization though when you use these type of lenses. But if you have the small rig for the iPhone 13, it might not look like everything's lining up, and it's probably really not because it, but it goes on. Yeah, because of the offset there, it's not lining the lens straight up with it, and it's just it's it's blurred. It doesn't work. So don't try that. Um, unfortunately, if you got a 14 Pro Max, for you know whatever, you're gonna have to get another small rig or moment case with the new bayonet which they have moments got them ready i think if you order it now you can have it in like a couple days so i'm not really overly interested but for those of you that may be it's possible the reason i'd be interested is because of that moondog labs i actually had and i gave it away was a hood lens which would be great for um lighting situations like last night the problem is also the lidar sensor <laughs> the lidar sensor is very blocked and that was a big problem i had with the um 
Light Chaser was it was cut it it because of the uh, <clears throat> ultra wide lens. It actually set the lidar back in, and it ruined your low light shooting. So keep that in mind too. Good night.